Hey, this is Tactical Duck E2 here. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a recent design of mine, or blueprint. You'll be able to find this on the Steam Workshop. Uh, right now you're probably looking at this thing going, what in the world is that even? I mean, seriously. Well, uh, in preparation for the planet's update, which we all know is hopefully coming soon, uh, I have been working on some things, some vehicles built to be used in a gravitational field or under the gravitational influence of a planet. As you can see, this one and all my other designs, which you'll see soon, have uh, artificial mass blocks. So just just to simulate that that weight that they'll be under uh, well on a planet the idea behind this is you're gonna be exploring this planet surface and you're not gonna wanna fly around with a massive drill you're gonna wanna be able to have something on land so as you can see this has a massive tower in the middle with a drill that can be lowered via these pistons um, and the, uh, the whole idea of this vehicle is to be a mobile mining facility. Uh, so yeah, let's go inside, let's check it out. Um, and this is built to be used in planets that may not have breathable air, so all the indoor environments or all the indoor areas have air locks and oxygen. Here, I'm gonna, okay. As you can see, the oxygen is working. Uh, this would be the main room with the cockpit. So let's just go up here and have a look. Uh, in the toolbar, you've got some controls for the drill, but there's a separate uh, little cockpit area for the drill, as we'll see. So let's just take this thing for a test drive real quick. Uh, right now, one thing I am gonna say though, when you use, if you go and get this on the uh, workshop, it's not very stable when turning. You wanna go, you wanna take it slow through your turns. As you can see, I probably need some more artificial, the uh, artificial mass blocks, because it does bounce an awful lot. But when you're going in a straight line, it works pretty well. So we'll just wait for that to stop. We'll probably have to do a little two or three point turn here forwards again and uh, as you'll see here you can actually get this thing going pretty quickly oh yeah don't mind the debris I was forgot to get rid of that before I did this video but yeah it's it's pretty robust it'll drive over just about anything nope <laughs> a little bounce there yeah, I definitely need to put some more uh, artificial mass on here. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Alright. So yeah, let's go check out the uh, the other features. Okay, so as you can see, we're this is right behind the cockpit. This is the main room, the main area of the, uh, the drill. Um, I've thought about putting living quarters in here. I don't know, you guys can do that on your own. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice wide view out the front cockpit window, as well as off to each side, we have an observation deck where we can come out, check on the wheels, look for any obstructions, do whatever. Uh, this walkway goes around. Back here, we've got four reactors on each side. Two, three, four, I guess five, five reactors. Uh, and the airlock back there. And then, um, this on the right side goes up to a secondary airlock which leads to the upper deck of the ship these new doors that they added in the last update are just great I love them but anyways up here in the upper deck we'll go towards the back of the ship to start because there's not really much at the front we've got a landing pad for small observation aircraft or maybe a fighter or something to defend come around here this is the uh, little cockpit work area for the drill operator. So we'll come in here, there's another cockpit in here as you can see, and all the controls for the drill. And you can see it down in front of us. So, 
let's go ahead and try and drill through this this uh, little floor here. <clears throat> so first thing you want to do, obviously, with six is start up the drills. There we go. We're running. And oh, I gotta remember. Okay. So one and two will increase and decrease the maximum. Uh, the maximum distance the rotor can go so that's how deep you want to go so let's take it slow here and then three and four are increase and decrease the speed as you can see we're going down there oh okay we're going down a little uh oh four or no five is a reverse button which as you can see helps a lot Okay, what did I do wrong? Let's decrease that a bit. And then go a lot slower this time. There we go. So you can take it a little bit at a time. Let's go a little more. Drill through that. You can hear it just beating down through all that metal be working a lot better if I had some rock underneath it, which I guess I could have done. Oh well. I'm a horrible YouTuber. Now we've got more. So, so now a little we bend. can go back to the main hangar. Oh, that's where the air pipes in. We'll go all the way back down through the ship. God, I love those doors. We can go around the front part. Oh, and as you can see right here, this is where we, uh, this is the main storage area for this. All the minerals from the drill are siphoned up through the pistons into the top here where we connect to our main cargo containers. And then that goes back into the hangar, which we will look at here. So this is on that on this main observation area for the drill. You can sit here, do maintenance, whatever. Here we go. The, the rest of these buttons aren't set up with or uh, aren't set up set up yet. I'll let you guys do that. Open this up. Go ahead and over here, close that door. And Probably let it pr repressurize. As you can see, we have a vent in here, so we can pressurize it if we want. Uh, but no airlock. So, uh, but yeah, this would be a connector, so you can have a small mining cart or some kind of a, a vehicle that a mining vehicle that you could go out and explore with, and drill and do some mining with, and then come back into the hangar and plug it up to this empty all your materials out through these connectors or conveyors that go up into the ceiling. So let's go ahead and show the hanger door back, open that up. And as you can see we have another door here. It is a ramp. This way you can, if you do have a vehicle in here, you can drive it off onto the ramp and down onto the ground so there you have it folks that that is the mobile mining drill I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet there'll be a link in the description to the uh, Steam Workshop page so make sure to go and check that out go download it go mess with it I'd really like to see some tests see what this thing can go through uh, for all of you people out there who like destroying stuff. So, anyways, there will be hopefully more videos to come on some of my other creations in preparation for planetary uh, exploration. So, see you next time, guys.